Oh yeah, Walmart's got a return limit and I used to exhaust the shit out of it. But I got more. Obviously, this is uh, at a time where my life was less than ideal. It was not like what you see now. A lot of self-growth has happened uh, since then. But I cannot sit here and act like I always made good choices that was in the benefit of everybody else. Because, uh... Now, this was back, like, probably close to 10 years ago, okay? And I found out that Kohl's didn't really have a return policy. Well, they had, like, a policy, but they didn't have, like, it written in stone, like, a, a certain amount of time you could return stuff. Like, it, it was just a free-for-all. See, they relied on the good faith of their customers being considerate people. That good faith was corrupted when I walked in the door. I was gonna not post this because I was like, oh, do I really want, like, you know, other people that are struggling to, like, run to Kohl's and try to, like, return things that are, like, nine years old? It's fucking 2022. If you don't got a return policy and you're a huge corporate store, get the fuck on the bandwagon. Anyways, I needed money and I needed money fast. And I had exhausted all other avenues. There was nowhere else I could go. I needed to find a solution. And I always found one. Albeit not always by wholesome means, but I always found a way. Then I saw it in my closet were these huge, clunky, size nine and a half Steve Madden heels. I walked right up to that counter with no shame. Fortunately, she had to get a manager because honestly, looking back, I feel so bad for any employee that I put this through. I have to admit, I feel a little less bad for managers. I shouldn't, but maybe that's something I gotta unpack later on. I don't know. So anyways, the manager's pissed. She looks exactly like that woman from John and Kate Plus 8. She asked me, how old are these? I said, I don't know. Are you really trying to return these? Yes, ma'am. If you get anything for these, it's going to be like probably $2. That's fine. That's the price of a McDouble. Don't underestimate. So she does her little people pop. She says to me, these are from almost a decade ago. I can give you $5.50. <laughs> Score!